Hello everyone, and welcome back to Clive Barker's Undying. Last time we left off, we found a couple creepy things. One that Ambrose uh, killed his own father. I had to get a refresher there. Um, and that Bethany tore off Aaron's jaw while he was sleeping. We also found this butler. I don't like this butler. He's staring very creepily at that lamp, and his mouth is... What are you doing? That is not something you can play. You, sir. Whoops. What'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? Oh! I know what I did. I activated the uh, secondary ability of the scythe. Which is... What does it do again? Yeah, it's like a super strong attack. Which I should have used against um, Lisbeth, but I forgot. So there we have it. New journal entry. Damn, they really skinned that poor thing, didn't they? Tail and everything. Wow. Couple new journal entry. Oh, goodness. Well, let's give this a shot. Well, I'd say you weren't much of a challenge. Sliced your head off in one swipe. So let's see here. We got the pirate's info. Talking about the pirate's cove. In this place, talking about Mrs. Ambrose. still alive, so those assassins didn't try to kill him. They just tried to kill me. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's down? Another giant statue. What the... Oh my gosh, what the heck are you? What the heck are you, other than creepy as all hell? I didn't know that the Beholder was allowed in here. Wait, so if I shoot you in the crotch, do I get another toy, some present thing? I do not. It makes me sad. Oh, look at this. Gravity defying statue. I like it. So, what's over here? Got a fire that's burning. Hello. Another creepy hall. Whoa. Another creepy hallway. Leads back to here, though. I've been here already. Jammed. Won't budge. There's Stop. some goodies over here. Toto. Oh, no. Alt? Oh my 
my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why are you so strong this time around? Seriously, you were never that hard before. Katocho. Making me use my health kits. I do not Won't appreciate budge. it. So let's see. If there's nothing over here, this is... This can't be the right way. Won't budge. Huh? That's just that again. I knew about that already. Unless is there something else creepy I'm supposed to be seeing? As long as that beholder doesn't respond. Won't budge. Well, and this just leads to the other place, right? Yeah. So I guess. I just had something. You did just heard something. This guy is about to kill me. <laughs> Sounds a like a noise. That might improve your looks. Sounds like something out of Gizmos and Gadgets. I curse you. Um, okay, why aren't you attacking? That was very awkward and painful. So I'm guessing supposed to go this way, right? Because this is where all the bad guys led to. I've already been here. I've already been to all these places, technically, but maybe there's something I missed. Never did figure out what that glowing thing above there was. Oh, hi! Sneaky people, I cut their heads off. Which probably isn't good because I usually play a sneaky character in games that allow it. Oh, shut up. That's an amplifier. Well, how the heck are you supposed to get it? Why was I holding down three? Really? Was that simple the entire time? I feel silly. Oh, priest confessional. We don't need to read that. Yes. 
insane. That is not where we want to be. Got to kill some dudes, got some ether traps, but not where we want to be. Maybe through here. I will look. Creepy voice that me here. Oh, geez. Hello there. No, I wanted to cut your head off. I will. Daniel, father, you will not tell me what to do. how it went down, huh? I'm trying to stop the family curse, but in order to do that, you need to die. Okay. Seems a bit counterproductive to me, but whatever. Jammed. Let's see, we gotta go... Do I wanna go over there, or do I... Oh, hello. Are you a bad guy? You are a bad guy. New bad guy though. So I didn't recognize you. You cannot bet yes, I can. There's something flickering over here. It was a texture. Oh, that leads there. Well, do I want to go this way then? This way, and we shall see what is over here. Jammed. But there are then more doors we can't open. Now we're back here. <laughs> One does not simply walk into more doors. I already know what that is. You don't have to tell me the scroll. Oh god. Haha. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Pull your scythe back out. And kill this person. Jammed. I'm not okay with this. Jammed. There's something behind here again? Lame. I was hoping there'd be something hiding there for me. Won't budge. So I'm guessing. Oh, do I get to go out the front doors now? <gasps> I do! Excitement. Not that I haven't been out here before, but I get to explore it more now. Hello, Mr. Gardner. Is there any way out to the standing stones? Aye, there should be an old skiff by the water that would allow you to get out there. It's very dangerous to paddle around though, so don't go exploring the coastline or you'll find yourself wrecked on the many reefs. Here, let me unlock the gate for you. Why, thank you. 
Pretty sure the reefs aren't the only thing dangerous. Pretty sure everything out here wants to kill me. I want another mana well. Give me. Oh! I saw that gate. You tried closing on me. Oh ho ho! I see you down there. Friggin' powers. Poor donkey. Even though I was pushing her around with the gills of our stone. to keep sheep. Look at that one. He's even eating blood. He's drinking it. Look at that. He drank all that blood. <sighs> Vampire sheep. Still better than Edward. Let's see here. That is probably certain death. I want to go over here. And that's where we're supposed to go. So let us go this way. the standing stones. So that's where we want to go. But I want to ex so go. I want to explore first. Because goodies. Again, that is where we want to go. I don't want to go there yet. Defying Joe. No. Oh, what? We can actually go swimming out here? Not that we want to, because it's probably a certain death, but interesting to note. Also, back edges. To that one has a face on it. So you got the one eye, two eyes, and the mouth. Oh, these oh. stones are different from the druidic designs. Uh, sure. 
New spell. I wonder what it is. Ah. It looks like he threw something off the platform. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know who you are, but I hate your face. Okay. So apparently, the scythe is not supposed to be used against this person. That was easy. You're supposed to be a boss. Screw you. Well, I guess I can, uh... Oh wait, was I supposed to... to touch this symbol. That would be a no. Yeah, I guess all I came here for was shield. Okay. Not that it's a bad thing. It's, it seems like a good spell, especially for someone like you. Go back up to the vampire sheep. On your guard! Oh, shut up. Cut your stupid head off. just randomly exploded. Okay. You do that. Scythe is supposed to glitch like that. Because it seems odd that it's done that several times now where it just kind of disappears. And I have no way of knowing. I just heard something. You did just heard something. Why do you always say heard something? Is it because we're near sheep? Because if so, that's a terrible pun on your part. And I've made several terrible puns, I should know. Just heard something. Ha! And darkness. No, 
scry. I can't scry, never mind. Oh man, I'm starting to get a bit of a headache. It's not good. familiar with any cove. However, old Sidgwick woman thinks the lighthouse is as old as the sea itself. If anyone knows this area, it'd be him. Very interesting. Also, why is your hat glowing and why are your eyes so dark? You're creepy. I should kill you on... Oh, there you go. I was gonna say I should kill you on principle for being creepy looking. teleports me to the lighthouse. That's nice of it. Uh-oh. Creepy music. I don't know about this. Dead person. I also don't know about this. Here lies Connor. Can I scry Connor? needs a key. Okay, I guess we'll go talk to the lighthouse guy. I don't remember his name, even though they just said it. Because I was not paying attention. Yeah, because of my short attention span when it comes to certain things. It happens at work a lot. Someone will come up to my counter and I'll pull up their account. I'm a teller, by the way. Um, and I'll be like, Herp -der -der -der, and they'll tell me their name, or I'll see it on the screen, and they'll walk away, and I'll have forgotten. For so, who be you? I'm a friend of Jeremiah Covenant. Jeremiah, eh? Is he still alive? Uh -huh. I saw him months ago, the face of death was on him. He's better in. One had never known why how deserted the Covenant grounds have been. Only once I see prowling round a Trasotti scum. How do they get on the grounds? I helped them to. The only reason I'm still alive is because those thugs need me to mend a lighthouse. This is a treacherous inlet, but all the fog, you know. And since the bridge back to the mainland's been destroyed, the <coughs> Trasotti need me to keep their boats from crashing up on the cliffs. Call me Sedgwick. Are you alone here? Now I am. Them thieves killed me only son Connor when he tried to drive him off. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Do you have any idea where these thieves are hiding out? <coughs> I'd a fair amount of Tresanti patrols I've seen by the caves upon the coast of it. I see their hideouts nearby. Sounds dangerous, wow. but I've got no choice. Things will only get worse if they're not stopped. I bet Ambrose is there too. Maybe if I can get to him, the Trasanti won't have any reason to be here. Ambrose, eh? Come to think of it, I may have seen him lurking about. But that's not good news for Jeremiah, I say. As I record, there was these tunnels that went from the shore up into them cliffs, right up to this old garrison perched on top. My father kept me from playing up there by sealing off the tunnels with an iron door he kept locked. I wonder if the key might be in his own sea chest. Where is this chest? In me living quarters. Is that a working gun you have there? Maybe. Why do you ask? Those Tresanti robbed me of everything, including me revolver. They didn't find me grandfather's stuff, though, including some silver bullets he got in the merchant marines. He believed them superstitions and say you can kill werewolves and evil creatures with them. Considering some of the weirdness going on here, those bullets might come in handy. 
I know they're in the chest, oh yeah. Take this key to my living quarters and have a look, see. Thanks. I appreciate your help. The more of them bastards you kill, the better. The way they killed my son, oh, it's the least I can do. Okay, so yeah, apparently that guy trusts us enough to take the key to the chest in his living quarters so we can get some goodies. Seems kind of silly to me, but whatever. So we got some silver bullets and a lighthouse gate key. But time is actually up for this episode, so we'll have to pick up from here the next time. Until then, everyone.